Well, as promised, Friday the 13th, gold. Because everything's better with gold, and we're not talking about Velveeta. No, this was, uh, this was my attempt to rectify the travesty that was Friday the 13th 1.3, which, uh, like I said, got really popular on the Friday the 13th movie forums, and I, I wanted to make it not suck. This is when I finally learned how to do a few more things with ROM editing. Yay! Because everything is fancy now. Everything is a little bit more fancier now. Alright, let's start the game. Let's do this. Once again, blank screen because... Crappy hack. Hmm. But, map's different. Ooh, sepia tones. It's the same, but it's just different color. It's actually, it actually looks like the sign from the movie. Yeah. All the characters are named different. The health bar looks way better. It looks like a ruler. Now, it's supposed to be like a, a graduated cylinder, but either way it works. Eh, Alright, okay. so you got a dead fuck Jimbo. <laughs> you got Tommy. You got Creighton Duke. Of course. Uh, Trish from Friday 13th Part 3. Or, no, no. I take that back. Friday 13th Part uh, 4, the final chapter. Ah. Uh, Chris from Friday 13th 3. And Ginny from uh, Part 2. She's back. And no, Jimbo does not have any sweet dancing moves in this. No. But, uh, let's just jump right in. Let's get this game going. Yep. Use the Zippo to light the fireplaces. Yep. Just like last time. And the time for that. Oh, we're Ed. already... Someone's already in trouble. Uh, meanwhile, at the summer camp from hell... <laughs> oh, Zippo and knife. Alright, who's in trouble? Looks like Trish. Yep. Jason kind of looks like more like his classic appearance. I was trying to go for a part one through or a part two through four vibe with this game. Ah. In fact, there's a little bonus if you find Jason in the forest. Ooh. We'll try to do that at some point, but nah, I can't guarantee that we'll pull it off. No. Parts 2 through 4, that's the... Or actually, parts 3 and 4, because part 2, you had the pillow sack head. Yeah, I was, gonna, uh, I was just, just gonna mention that. Oh, alright, no, I'm probably gonna mess this up. That's 3 and 4, that was Kane Hodder, right? <laughs> you're right, you're totally going to mess that up. <laughs> it's a key now, not, not a hacksaw. Do I have my franchises messed up? Yeah, three was Richard Brooker and uh, four was Ted White. Ah. Uh. Kane Hodder didn't come until the seventh movie. Ah, I see. At least I got the right franchise, give me credit. <laughs> oh, the fire looks a lot better now. Yeah, I actually, I think I stole that from Zelda, I could be wrong. Go into one of the cabins by the lake. Over my dead body. Yeah, the, the door has four panels. Yep. And that never changes. Plus, the cabins look a lot better, I think. Yeah, they definitely... Uh... I fixed a lot of the incomplete things that were in the original ROM, like dead areas that just kind of drop off to nowhere and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Hello? Anybody in here? Or at least what I could have, anyways. It's still... Yeah, I'm almost certain I stole that from Zelda. Well, once again, we can just throw the fire into the fireplace so you don't need any kindling or sawdust or newspapers or anything like that. Well, I think the thing was is they wanted to create a game, not a fire lighting sim simulator. Oh, you know me. I'm picky about those sorts of things. Hold on, kids. We're coming. Eventually, uh, it is the maybe. children. Yuck. All right. This, this is a summer camp. You kind of have to have kids. Go get them, Creighton Duke. No problem. <laughs> the water's purple. 
it's Prince Lake. Like, um, just... Hold on, kids. I'm Creighton Duke sure is taking his time. But he is from the shittiest Jason movie ever, so... Ah. He is from the shittiest Jason movie. Jason goes to hell. Yep. What I think of when I think of the name Jason Voorhees. <laughs> well, I think of a little girl sticking a hot dog through a donut. <laughs> what the hell does that have to do with anything, Creighton Duke? You're <laughs> I think, pitiful. I think he was just saying that just to be weird. Also, did anybody else notice Jason had a bit of a moose knuckle on him? I didn't notice. I'm gonna have to look at this because I designed him that way. <laughs> That's right, I'm just gonna take my own sweet time. I'm just gonna stroll down this down this path. Alright. Back to Ginny. Oh, she's a whole lot faster. Oh yeah. First aid kits again because fuck vitamins. Oh no, come on. <laughs> and your first aid kit is gone. And now it's back. Yep. That's right, your first aid kit full of your, your bandages, your antiseptics, your, uh, your tweezers. Ooh, another one. Yep. They're important. I'm trying to remember other things from my counselor days. That was in a different video that we were talking about that. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, you got me on that one. But yes, I was I was a camp counselor for one year. And no, we did not have zombies or Jason or, or raucous parties or anything like that. It was a Girl Scout camp. Well, we're off to a terrible start because I've just been lighting all these fireplaces and we don't have any note telling us to go find a torch. Keep it warm for the campers. It's okay. I've got an idea. Nowadays they were like, you can't have campfire. You can't have fireplaces in front of kids. That's a safety hazard. Uh, they have to put their helmets on to sit near the campfire. <laughs> and they're... Ooh! Their helmets and their Kevlar gloves. Where am I? I'm oh, not there. too far from the cave. I'll go to the cave to get the knife. Oh, nope. Not gonna grab that. Not this thing. I got better things to do. Oh, I'm wait, Jimbo. Bird. I'm too busy dancing. Yeah. <laughs> it's made for dancing. Ah, 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 all I love. No, no. That's for someone else. Yep. All right. Well. Plan B. Hey, Major Tom. Shouldn't you be out floating in space? Oh, Tom Matthews here is going to go uh, make sure Jason goes to hell and he's going to see that he gets there. <laughs> oh, those stupid children. No, children are just the lamest. They're always on the dang river. They can't drive. They can't freaking do anything, it seems. They, they can't even fend off a killer with a machete. I mean... Hello again. Dance, 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 dance. Once again, there's blood splatter when you hit the wall, but... Oh, well. The machete looks nice, though, I think. You win for now. 
Yeah, the machete does look quite nice. Ooh, Tommy was on the crew team. Oh, right, just a running, just a running. I'm a running, I'm a running for you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. You know what? I think I'm gonna try to. I think I'm gonna try to put that thing in and see if we get hit with a copyright claim. Oh uh, no! Why? It's obscure and weird enough. We might not get hit. Oh no! Why, why did all? Why all of a sudden have Tommy Tricker in the in the what's it? Who's the what's it? Flashbacks. Toothbrush. <laughs> nah, that actually looks like an axe. Damn you, Rufus Rain White. Rain White. Wayne Wright. Ugh. Okay, either of these. These characters in these games have like super jumps, or these are really short zombies. One he's Tommy, time. man. He's the uh, he's the ultimate uh, Jason killer. You know, he's he's killed Jason twice. Plus an imposter. Yeah, but it's a, it's in all of these games. All the counselors seem to be able to jump over the zombies' heads. Ha. It's like they're champion hurdlers or something. You haven't seen Jimbo jump. I don't think I have. Go into one of the cabins by the lake. All right, fair enough. I'll take it under advisement. Yeah, we'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll pencil it in and, and uh, file it away. Boing, I have kangaroo shoes. Boing, boing, boing. I don't know. It kind of seems to me that there's some weird thing going on with the screen when I'm moving too quickly. I don't know if that's it. Jesus Christ, you're yawning like a son of a bitch over there. I know, and I don't know why it is. I'm not even that tired. Oh, those damn kids again. Hold your horses. Screw you, children. I got more important things to do. Oh, she actually looks looks very desiccated here. Yeah, I was gonna say I, I went for more of a desiccated, mummified look, like in the movies. Yes, well done. Boing. Hello, dear dearie. Would you like me to carry you? That's right. You think my son is a son? A pain in the butt? Well, I'm a pain in the butt. <laughs> Dang it. It's gotta be somewhere out of here. Hold on. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll just do this. Jimbo. Jimbo. Oh, you dead fuck. That's right. Eat my steel. <laughs> Let me guess. You win. For now. Yep. I smell that coming. Yep. For the moment, we've won. It is a temporary victory, for he will be back to mess with our heads. Go away, zombies. Nobody likes you. Even your movies are becoming irrelevant. <laughs> Alright, Major Tom, what's going on? Ooh, he has a machete. Yep, we have a machete now. All right, kids, the fireplace is lit. Let's make some s'mores. Oh. Oh, a note. Go into the cave. Fair I enough. just came from the cave. I'm not going back. Yeah, you. I'm one step ahead of you, scrap of paper. 
I say is for like the last three times I've tried, I haven't been able to get the torch, so. <laughs> Maybe we should listen to the scrap of paper. Ah! There's a machete hidden somewhere in the cave. Good to know. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that under advisement. We'll think about it. Alright, out we go. La 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 boing. La la boing. La la boing. Kids are doing okay? Tuckering in? Alright, everybody grab a buddy. We're gonna go, go down to the waterfront. Although, the waterfront seems to be where Jason keeps showing up. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. More fuel for the fire. Yep. Oh, here we go. You can find a torch in one of the cabins by the lake. That was a good movie. Have you ever seen Cabin by the Lake? Cabin by the Lake, uh, nope. Starring Judd Nelson? I don't think I have. That was a good one. Okay, now we're in trouble. Please help us. Uh, stupid children again. You have to save us. Our parents paid for us to be here. Yeah, rich, yuppie parents. Hey, my parents were rich nor yuppie, and I I was able to go for summer camp for a couple years. Yeah, but I always got the impression that these were, like, rich, yuppie children that went to this Camp Crystal Lake. All right, we have the torch. Yeah, the kind of kids who would, like, freak out if they got dirt on their shoes. Oh, no, oh, you no. motherfucker. That's why you don't get the... That's why you get the knife early on. God damn it. Oh, oil. Thank you. All right, make this quick, Jason. Well, I'm going to have to see if I can get another torch with a different character. Oh, I was scared. He just went away for a moment. You win, for now. He's like, go. Figures, we're doing a Let's Play in the game. Damn, game glitches. Also, apparently the zombies in the lake are on pogo sticks. All right, I think Chris is probably the next fast. Oh Jesus! All right, no, Chris is the crappy character. For once, we aren't picking on Jimbo. She's kind of like the. She's kind of like the uh, the female Jimbo, really. <laughs> she's the Jimbet. Except for she doesn't have the sweet dance moves. Yeah. Because not everybody can have the sweet dance moves. Not everyone can be Crispin Glover. Nope. Go into one of the cabins by the by the lake. Fair enough. Oh yeah, I was telling you about Cabin by the Lake. It's a really good movie. Is Judd Nelson plays a psychopath. Huh. Eh, other way. The hell with it. So this is uh. Before the Brat Pack or after? Oh no, well after. Ah. This is like when he was trying to become relevant again in the uh, late 90s. Ooh, yeah, that's way after the Brat Pack. Oh, wrong cabin. It's Creighton Duke. It's like this week. Kill a Voorhees, you must be a Voorhees. Alright. You kill a zombie, you must be a zombie. Wait, that makes he, no sense. He never said that, but it sounds like something he, dumb that he would say. <laughs> Alright, Trish. Show us what you can do. I can jump over zombies. <laughs> Fair enough. Help us! Uh. Someone already needs help. Yep. Do 
It's gonna light the fire. This time we'll make, we're grilling up some hot dogs. Maybe if the kids are really nice, we'll get a campfire and look, I could show you how to make a Dutch oven dinner. And not that Dutch oven, an actual Dutch oven. I was gonna say, that sounds horrible. No! It sounds like the worst dinner ever. No, not, not... Dutch oven is where you make an oven out of two, out of uh, two tin cans and, and a candle, not a, not a freaking other Dutch oven. Oh yeah, we were following Chris. No, Trish. Trish. Jason's been attacking so often. I'm losing track of what I'm doing here. Yeah, that prick. Fucking wise guy. Why he oughta? What's he doing in my summer camp anyway? Messing with my campers and my staff. Ooh, a note. Go into the cave. Nope. I want to go to a cave. The caves are filled with you know, mildew and bats. Sometimes bears. There is some sort of weird blurring thing that's going on in this game. I don't know if I noticed that when we were doing it the last time. I can't help but wonder if we got a glitchy version of the game. Well, if it is blurry, I, I'm not noticing it. If it's, gl I hope. If it's glitchy, I hope not, because this is the only copy of the game to, that I know to exist. Hi, I'm Jason. Jason doing the crab walk. Do, 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 do. I gave like a copy out to uh, I think a fellow YouTuber quite a few years ago, but I don't know what ever happened to that. You win for now. Like I said, the first one I gave out tons of copies of. The second one, ooh, I had a hard time. Uh, I had a hard time moving it, mainly because the guy who ran the uh, Friday 13th website, the guy who was the moderator for the message board, yeah. he was kind of a dickhead, and he uh, he was just taking down posts that he thought were were spam, and apparently he thought mine was spam, so he just took it down. Oof. And then he just kind of gave up on the whole website after that. I really, really don't like that guy. I thought it wasn't very fair that, you know, basically my my ROM never got a chance to actually get out. And it's not like I was selling it. I was just giving it out for free, but this guy kind of just stood right in the way of it. Don't you hate it when that happens? Yeah. So if you're out there somewhere, Blake Walsh, I think was your name, screw you! <laughs> screw you, screw you, screw you, bird! Why do you keep attacking me? Who's relevant now, pal? Me with my channel with 30 subscribers. <laughs> Bigger than you'll ever be, Mr. Whatever your name was that I can't remember. <laughs> That's how unimportant you are. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not bitter. No, you're not bitter, no. You could. Oh, you can find a torch in oh, one good. of the Oh, good. I can get a By torch, finally. And this time, hopefully. And this time, not lose it like a total spaz. Gonna walk down to the lake in the cab, and hopefully I can find a nice torch. You know, an actual torch, not uh, British torches, because in Britain, they, uh, what they call a torch in America, we would call a flashlight. So that would really make things confusing. Stupid children. Help us! Help us! My parents will sue if you don't! I just so happen to be in the area, and I do have a torch. And apparently the top of the lake is covered with kerosene. 
There are you, you bastard. I gotta say, these cabins in all of these games are pretty big. Like, they have multiple rooms and whatnot. Yeah, they are very spacious cabins. I remember, like, the few times I was at camp, like, we didn't have nice big cabins. It was, like, no. one-room cabins. I know we had a... Uh, at the uh, summer camp I went into, we had a, a couple of cabins. Oh. Uh, one was mostly used as a meeting area. And, uh, one was, uh... The upper floor was, was, uh... Vac was vacant, but the but the basement of it was the nature center where we taught girls about nature and whatnot. But the main reason for the uh, for them was uh, emergency shelter. Ah, dead fuck, re <laughs> dead fucks revenge. <laughs> yeah, we Jeez. can't match those dancing moves. <laughs> Crispin Glover rocks. That's right. Shake that booty and everything else. Alright, you know what? But no, my... Let's go play in the woods. Yeah, my summer camp had uh, platform tents. With Tommy, because what's the worst that could happen? Everything. Woo! Go away, damn wolf. Coyote. First aid kit. Yeah, we got skeleton zombies now. Yep. Different style of zombies in the woods. Let's see if I can find my way out of the woods. Now that I'm taking a lot of damage. <laughs> yeah, it's starting to, starting to get a little... Uh... Nope. <laughs> All right, we're screwed now. Oop. All right. Well, we are, as they say, lost. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. Here we go. Cabin in the woods. Just and there's nothing in it. Except for this foreboding door. Which leads us to nowhere. Ooh! A 2-4? Holy crap! Go away, you stupid freaking... Oh, damn it. Ha! Huh, perfect! Yeah. Perfect! Timing! Alright, who's nearby and who has a weapon? Trish has a torch and she's not too far away. And she's fast, apparently. Yeah. Got ya. <laughs> Stupid birds. Thank you. Uh, Jason's here to brush my teeth. Brush your teeth and chop your brains. How about a little fire, Jason? Oh! oh. Maybe not. That was the one with the torch. God dang it. So close, too. You had him on the ropes. Alright. And right off the bat, the kids need help. No, it's just the timer resets. Oh. So I just probably screwed things up really bad. Alright, let's make this count. Oh, 
Take that, Jason. Watch out, Jason's still alive and stronger than before. The hell with him. Uh, speaking of which, we should probably wrap up this episode. Yep, we shall, probably should, and we'll be back alive and stronger than before. Yeah. <laughs> so thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and have a good day, everyone. <laughs>